Oh, oh, hi guys, welcome back to the Chop61 channel. Uh, it, I know it's been a fair while since I uploaded a video, like a week and a half or so, but you know what? You guys really seem to enjoy the last one, and so, thank you. That's all I really have to say about that. Uh, so, you know what? Before we start on this video, let's talk about the next video. So, if you don't know already, I am a pretty lazy person, as you can tell by my upload schedule. <laughs> And that sort of thing um, but anyway you guys are going to be deciding the next video that I make and what I mean by that is I'm going to be making a themed PC build so basically I don't really care what the theme is because I can't be bothered to figure that out so what's gonna happen is whatever theme you guys want to see leave that down in the comments down below you know if you want to see a sleeper PC build if you want to see you know you're a little freaking nerd and you want to see an anime build then go ahead leave that down in the comments and what's going to happen is the most liked uh, comment about the theme will be the theme that I make for the next video. It'll pick, be picked around a week after this video comes out. So make sure you leave your ideas down in the comments. And if you don't have any ideas of your own, make sure you go down and like a few ideas that you enjoy. Uh, but before we go on to the $500 gaming PC, uh, first off, I have a Discord server now, so link in the description, go and join it, it's, it's very epic, you can play games with me and stuff, so yeah, that's nice. Uh, but anyway, so basically, if you're a noob and you live under a rock, like probably most of you do, no, anyway, um, uh, bro, freaking Nvidia just decided to, I don't know, they just were like, oh yeah, we've got new graphics cards and they're freaking powerful as balls and so all the rest of your graphics cards are worth nothing now even though they cost you like $2,000. So basically, we can build a pretty banging rig for $500, and I thought this was the perfect time to do it, and it's gonna look really dope. So let's go ahead and buy the pots now. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna buy, then we're gonna buy them, and then we're gonna build the PC, and then I'm gonna show you the build of the PC, and then we're gonna do a bit of time lapse, and then we're going to uh, record some videos of me playing games that are actually really trash, uh, and then the video will end and you'll subscribe and like, let's go. Okay, so if you guys know absolutely nothing about the whole new RTX line of cards and everything, uh, basically all the old RTX cards, well not old, they're still practically new, um, are basically going down in price everywhere, but the problem is, is because I live in freaking Australia, which is on like another side of Mars or something compared to you guys, um, like, look, you can get all these insane prices. Here we go. Look, like, an RTX 2080 Super for $700. If you don't know, those freaking cards go for normally $1,500 here. And it's going for $700. And, but the problem is, all of the cards, they're in, they're in China. And so for me to get one shipped over to Australia right now is literally going to take, like, $500 of shipping and two liters of bleach and a month worth of waiting. So for me to do that is super freaking pointless. Uh, and so now I can't even get that great deal. So don't diss me if this PC is bad in comparison to what you can do in America or something. Okay, so over the past week, um, you know, it was, it was great fun doing it, except wait, it sucked. And uh, all the parts that I got are very mediocre. But, except there's a lot of RGB. So that, that makes up for it, right? Right, please. Yeah, but anyway, so <laughs> it's gonna be a RGB build. I'll tell you what. Uh, so first off, uh, hold up there, Charlie. Were you about to go on a nerd rant about stuff that nobody cares about without telling us how to skip past? That would be very, very cringe. Now, if you don't mind, here is where you can go right here, boo, to skip past all of my boring nerd stuff. Now, if you do want to know what PC parts we got, but you don't want to have to listen to me talk about them for five minutes, then here is what we got, right? Boom! Right here. And boom, that is what we got them for. So, uh, go ahead and skip to that time if you don't care about me, uh, to go to the time lapse in the rest of the video. Okay, bye. Uh, behind our graphics card, we have a Core i3-9100F. Not proud of this deal. I bought it new. I couldn't find any of these sort of like newer Intel CPUs uh, that were sort of like cheaper. And so I bought this for $100 Australian, which is actually a fairly alright deal for this CPU. I got like free shipping with it as well, and it also knocked off a bunch of the cost of our CPU cooler. So that's nice. Uh, talking about our CPU cooler, our CPU cooler. Uh, it's a Coolmaster A71C. <laughs> this is the moment when Charlie realized that, that CPU cooler is only for AMD motherboards. So, 
that's why this video took so long to come out, and uh, that's why we um, you know, we're, we're kind of sad right now. So yeah, we got a new one, and it's much better. Uh, then we have our Techwear Arc Spectrum fans. Uh, these are an extra nicety that I was able to buy. We got these on sale uh, for twenty dollars. They're normally forty dollars, but uh, twenty dollars for two fans that are from a quality brand like Techwear. I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, another additional feature that we got uh, is a deep cool uh, RGB GPU support bracket. Now, seeing as we are working in an ATX like full size case, I thought it would be good to get one of these uh, just so that it sort of fills up the case and doesn't look really empty and stuff. Also, it has RGB. We got this for twenty five dollars. Now, our graphics card. I am actually pretty proud of this deal. So, if you don't know and haven't seen from the title, this is basically what it's all about. Our graphics card. What deal did we get? So, this is an MSI Twin Frozer RX 570 4GB model. Now, that is not the best deal as it may sound, because uh, we got this for $140 Australian. And before you go commenting, you will go into the comments, you're trash Charlie, I don't like your videos, I'm going to unsubscribe because you've got a trashy graphics card for a trashy price. Shut up. First of all, that's Australian dollars. Uh, second of all, uh, this is not the armor edition. The second, the armor edition is stupid garbage. Uh, third of all, this is actually brand new. Uh, and so typically, before RTX 2000 series launch, it was like $250 to $300 new in Australia, but you know, I'll let it slide down a little bit. And just so you know, uh, second hand, these graphics cards still, before RTX 2000 was launched, cost about well, 180 to 200 dollars. So I think we got a pretty banging deal on this card. Our motherboard, the thing that holds everything together, is an MSI Z370A Pro motherboard. Now this is the deal I am most proud of because it is a dope deal. This motherboard cost us 70 dollars, which, if you don't know, this thing normally retails for 200 dollars second hand in Australia. So if you can't tell. That is an outstanding deal, seeing as we got, what, like $130 off it, uh, the second hand price. And obviously, it is a very overkill motherboard for our CPU, but it's ATX, so it's going to fill up our whole case very, very nicely. And it leaves us open for expanding or uh, making our build better in the future. We have 8GB of DDR4 2400 MHz from HyperX. Now, the only difference between this stuff and the stuff we used last video is that this has slightly higher clock speeds. So the other one was 2133, this is 2400. Pay $25 for this. You'll never see me pay more than $30 for RAM. I never want to see you pay more than $30 for 8 gigs of RAM because that is then a terrible price, even if it does have RGB on it. It's only worth tops of $30 because, you know, it's just nothing that fancy. Don't pay more than $30 for RAM, otherwise, you know, you're bad, lol. We have another RGB product, so this right here is a power supply. Now, I did buy the second hand, so uh, go away. I don't want your stupid shenanigans about you have to buy a power, power supply from you. I am my own man. Now, the thing why I bought a second hand is because this thing has a um, RGB fan, so, you know, that kind of makes up for everything, if you know what I mean. But other than that, it also is very clean, and so it's probably pretty new. Uh, it had all the cables that were required, and it's from a nice brand. Uh, it's Gigabyte uh, 450 watt power supply, so, it's a pretty good deal. I got it for $25, just like the rent. That is all of these parts. Now, uh, I'm gonna go and grab the case, um, just so I can show you. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's not this one, not this one. Okay, that's weed. So, this, my good friends, is a Techware Nexus Evo PC case. Now, uh, this PC case cost us uh, 80, 90 dollars. It, it wasn't the best deal, but I always, 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 always recommend that you buy your cases brand new because if your PC case has a scratch or a mark on it or anything like that, you're going to notice it's gonna bug you for the rest of your life. So always buy PC cases new. Also, um, it, it has RGB. So, so yeah. Um, let, let's get to building! Yeah, let's go.
Okay, so, people, after a lot of testing, building, changing, uh, basically any sort of differences I could have made, I am going to have to get a few different and um, more parts to make this build work. Um, I've struggled with a lot of things with it, so things from uh, the motherboard doesn't have any RGB headers, so we can't plug in our uh, RGB uh, GPU mount. Um, our fans didn't come with any way to plug them into the motherboard or to the power supply, so they're sort of just two six-pin fans. I don't know why they chose six-pin, um, just sort of sitting there in the back. Um, our power supply CPU cable is far too short to even reach up to uh, the top of the motherboard. Uh, and I've also had struggles with uh, getting this thing to plug in. So, um, we have a long way to go. So, I apologise, but we're going to have to split this up into two parts. Uh, so, it should be two shorter videos. I'm genuinely quite sorry for that, because I was myself looking really forward to getting this video uploaded, because I thought it was going to be pretty cool. But, it's what that will. From the front, it may look like... a pretty finished build so I'll give you some close-ups just so you know we can finish off this video nicely but remember we are doing a giveaway once we hit 1000 subs uh, it'll be all sorts of cool tech stuff from like Amazon Echoes to different sort of graphics cards RAM CPUs whatever you can imagine uh, so make sure you're subscribed for that because if you aren't you aren't going to be a part of it uh, so anyway that's it from me guys and I hope you enjoy bye